Apollo 5 was launched on January 22, 1968 at 1048 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 37B at Cape Canaveral. This mission was the first uncrewed test of the lunar module, the lander that would eventually allow astronauts to set foot on the moon. Lunar Module 1 was placed into low Earth orbit by the Saturn 1B launcher, which was also used for Earth orbit tests of the Apollo Command and Service Module. Placed into a fairly low orbit, 222 kilometers by 167 kilometers, the Lunar Module would re-enter on its own after a while, but not before it went through a series of tests. Unlike the model in the video, LEM-1 was launched without landing legs. This in-space test of the Lunar Module had been delayed because of struggles at Grumman, which was, after all, trying to build something entirely new. In fact, even after LEM-1 had been mated to its adapter for launch, word came in that a window on another LEM, the one that would eventually be launched on Apollo 11, failed during a pressurization test. So, the windows on this launch were replaced with aluminum plates until a redesign could be worked out. After separating from the rocket and coasting for a couple of orbits, the lunar module was supposed to conduct a 39 second burn with its descent engine. This would be the first time that a properly throttling engine was fired in orbit. However, the computer shut down the engine early because it was not reading the proper thrust from the engine. Turns out that the engine was just taking longer to get started because due to concerns while readying the vehicle, in particular because of concerns that there might be a fuel leak, NASA decided not to arm the system ahead of time. However, the programmers had not been made aware of this change in the plans, so the program did not factor in the delay in the ignition. So Mission Control fired the descent engine manually and the test was successful. They also fired it again to check it out a second time because it does have restart capability. And then they also fired the ascent engine while the ascent stage was still connected to the descent stage, the so-called fire in the hole test, because that would be how the engine started in actual practice, and they wanted to make sure nothing structurally strange happened during such a start, which might cause a bad separation from the descent stage. The two stages of the lunar module re-entered separately, with the ascent stage burning up after two days, and the descent stage coming back into the atmosphere on February 12th. The test was considered successful despite the issues, and NASA decided that another uncrewed test would not be necessary. So the next time a lunar module would fly, it would be on Apollo 9, with the crew testing it directly. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Apollo 5.